I keep saying I'm going to make this video and putting it off until the perfect moment, which seems to never come. Hello, my name is Victoria Bell, and I now have the good life. <laughs> All because two little rescue dogs. Uh, one's about 37 pounds, so not quite so little. Her name is Honey. Let's go meet her. Honey, you want to see how good of a life you have? Is this the good life, honey? Huh? Do you have the good life? Oh, Joey, hi. Do you have the good life? Yeah, you guys have the good life. Yeah, good life. That's what I'm calling it because I'm a registered nurse and I lost my job for rescuing honey. And I'm here to tell you about it. So God doesn't punish us for doing good things. So you think that losing your job would be a, a bad thing, <laughs> but God performs miracles. And I want to give you the faith when things look the bleakest, uh, say, oh my God, this is the life. <laughs> and it is the life. And you have to make it, you have to believe it to create it. So, um, I don't know if I want to go into details about rescuing Honey, but she was um, a family member's jog of one of my patients. And I watched the decline in her care over three or four months. And because uh, I'm a I'm a home health nurse, so I go to their homes and I see what's going on for reals. You you see a patient in the hospital in a sterile environment where you control everything uh, is a whole another situation when you go to their homes, and uh, and basically she was. Um, progressively neglected and abused until she was um, on a sh pretty short leash out in the middle of a cow pasture probably 200 yards from the home and without water or shelter all day every day and her bones were showing her rib cage was really prominent and she would like cower down to me because I'd always go take her a treat no matter where she was and she was cowering to me with her tail between her legs and she was so thirsty. And I asked my patient, um, I noticed your dog doesn't have any water. And he's like, oh, she'd probably knock it over anyway. And um, that was one week before I figured out a way I could get honey from that situation. And uh, I don't know what rumor went around my work, but uh, exactly, but they fired me without even asking me what happened. Um, needless to say, I mean, and they took the word of someone that had only been working there a relatively short time as opposed to my eight years. And you know, I knew it was the best thing that could possibly happen to me. Even at the time, I'm like, this is a blessing in disguise, guys. And that's the kind of faith you need, every single one of you, to get anything you want in this life and be blessed beyond measure. <laughs> so, um... This is where I am now, in the good place. 
Thank you so much for listening. Please hit the like button if you enjoyed this video so I will be encouraged to make more. God bless. Namaste.